For now, though, there's some differentiation among these utilitarian vehicles. The CX-3 is one of the fun ones. It's obviously not a hatchback MX-5, but it's still a fairly precise people hauler without the expected handling slack or slop. Acceleration isn't exhilarating. Like most Mazdas I've driven, the car is on the edge of being underpowered. But it never quite feels gassed, and in the FWD configuration tested here, it doesn't run out of steam under normal driving. More importantly, it doesn't feel huge or uncertain on the road. From a driving dynamics perspective, feeling controlled and compact is a good thing. I had a few of those commercial worthy moments where I found myself driving a little harder through commute spec corners than I otherwise might have and smiling contentedly to myself afterward. This might be one of the most well appointed compact crossovers I've sat inside. After coming out of the comparable Chevy tracks, I found the cabin of this Mazda stood out as surprisingly nice at this price point. Sure, Mazda could have saved a few bucks here and there and used a low quality plastic and no one would have batted an eye, but most of the touch points of this Mazda are pleasantly soft. Like Graham mentions, the acceleration isn't exactly impressive, but it isn't bad. This is as quick as the other compact crossovers that it would be shopped against, which says more about this style of SUV than it does about this particular Mazda. The CX-3 might not have as much space in the back as the tracks, but if you're apt to haul a lot of luggage, sports gear, nightstands, you might consider going up to a bigger crossover like the Mazda CX-5 or a Ford Escape. Like Graham also mentions, the CX-3 doesn't suffer from unnervingly numb and ambling handling characteristics. The CX-3 actually feels engaging to drive, and while it isn't as capable as a Miata, it isn't a bad time to drive. The body roll isn't excessive and the steering is as precise as you'd ever want a compact crossover. Compared to the Chevy, the CX-3 does suffer from a loud cabin. This can be remedied by turning up the radio, but it is still worth noting for folks who want a pin drop quiet passenger area. If you can deal with a louder cabin and less space, you will be rewarded with the CX-3's superior driving dynamics and more looks feeling interior.